Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to my channel today. And today I want to share with you something that I made up the other day while experimenting with some of my antennas, and I really had a hard time keeping it up. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this, my antenna. My antenna was always flopping over and hitting, and, you know, the wind was blowing it over. I needed something solid, something adjustable, and strong, reliable to keep that sucker up. And I came up with this. Uh, I grabbed a couple parts that were laying around in the shack. And, uh, you know, I have a uh, ram mount, claw, arm, and a trucker mount. This stuff was actually lay laying around in my junk pile. So, who would have thought it would become an antenna mount? So, the idea was something that was strong, safe, easy to do, mount onto anything with any angle. And this is where we got it, boys. So, you'll see on the bottom, I got a bit of metal tape with a stud on it. The idea was if I was going to clamp onto something metal like a fence post or a guardrail or something like that, I could use that as a counterpoise or ground plane or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes you don't want to do that. You might just throw up your SWR or you don't want to be bonded to the ground. So I thought put a clip on it, disconnect it and not use it. Maybe put a squeedy on there or something like that. So simple thing. I made a list for you guys. If you're too lazy to go out and try find it yourself, you can go to my, uh, just the comments below, and I got a, I got a grocery list for you just to click on, and you can go see where you can find the stuff. Um, so I ran around Charlie Alpha 5082, I think that's what it's called, um, and I started just, push the reel here, I started uh, just clamping onto things, and it worked like a charm. It opens up to one and a half inches, and it goes perfect onto a picnic table. The picnic table works as a great solid uh, level playing field, I guess you would call it. And this was the first time using it actually. And it held up a 17 foot telescopic whip, no problem. Then I thought, let's try this on other objects. I had my Pelican case with me. I was gonna activate this park and clamp right onto the onto the case like nothing. I'm like, wow, this is this is crazy. We got we got this little weird angle. And is it gonna is gonna stay up? Yeah, it sure did. And then, and thanks, Simon, Victor Alpha 7, Bravo India X-Ray, with that squiddy idea. That worked like a charm, man. Worked like a charm. So, I'm not going to stop here. We've got the case. We've got the table. What's at a park? Yeah, you guessed it. There's a lot of trees. Now, don't just go clamp onto any old tree. Get permission first or something like that. Don't damage those trees. You know, you don't want to be uh, getting kicked out of the park and not be able to play there again. So, in this instance, I clamped it onto a tree. I put on the 17 foot telescopic whip, fully extended, did not move. It started leaning a little bit, so I just adjusted it and made it work. Yeah, so, you know, why stop there? Look at this, uh, look at this gate for the park. Perfect place to place this, man. I clamped it on there, had a little bare spot of metal, and um, I used it as a counterpoise as well. And it held it up. It was a little windy out today, or the day I did it, and it, it worked it just it just plain works guys and it, it won't stop you there you got you got trees you got benches cases gates you know what else is in a park or you'll see some look down over there in the corner <laughs> i yeah a recycling bin won't pass mr mud i tell you that much hey let's clamp onto this clamps on there the only thing you're going to get besides a great mount well, you're going to get two things. You're going to get some weird looks from people driving by because they're like, what the heck is this guy doing? No, it works, so it, it really does. I got I got the grounding strap on there. It bonded to the, the can. You know, you may or may not get a good SWR, but why not try? Now, is this going to work? <laughs> Hell no, not going to work. 17-foot telescopic whip, horizontally about five feet off the ground. This is just there to show you that this thing clamps so hard and it does not slip and it held that that antenna completely sideways horizontal it was unbelievable and it also bonds to that sign so if you have to use a sign you know i saw the sign yeah all that kind of crap that actually works with a hamstick and it, i did it i did it with a sign in a different mount with a with a mag mount and it worked beautifully <laughs> it's unbelievable man i can't wait to get this out in a park and start doing stuff we got her on a sign, full metal over there. Um, I clamped it onto some kind of manhole cover thing. 
some snow fence. I think I got a tick that day with that clamped over there. Um, fire hydrant, why not? <laughs> it works. Garbage cans, I already activated that. It's old news, but if you guys want to try garbage can, do it. I was on the fence about this one. It's at my QTH, but it worked. Now, I warned, just a fair warning, guys. Don't start clamping crap onto the the play center you don't want to get some kid fried you know like wow if they grab that antenna but no one was here so it's safe and there's not a kid around so clamping onto this play center i wanted to show you that it it's windy it's a weird angle it's a slippery pipe still clamps onto that play center and it works it's awesome like if you you, you could just have different angles it fully articulates just unbelievable this is my favorite one. I hooked it up to this guardrail. It's about 300 feet long, and I didn't use any ground plane or anything. I actually used the, the bonding that I made into this. I was on 20 meters, one-to-one -one SWR. It was unbelievable. It just worked, and it clamped onto that. I think it was only about a quarter inch thick, and it got a good clamp onto it, good bonding. So there we go. There's the excitement of the year. You guys run out, buy the parts, Get your butts off the couch. Go out and have a good time and see your hams on the bands. 73s, you guys.